perdu Vive la fin Advance. Oh, il faut que j'arrive, petit sir. Pauvre Gaston oh. C'était terrible, non Oui, Général. Encore plus terrible que Moscou. Alors, ça devait être vraiment terrible. Retournez-y immédiatement, Calvay. Wellington se dirige vers nous. Général Calvé Complément du maréchal Soult. Vous devez partir à son aide immédiatement. Ça, c'est l'ordre officiel. Officieusement, il aimerait bien savoir où vous étiez lorsque Wellington a percé son flanc. Son flanc Mais il est où, son flanc À 50 000 à l'est. Quoi Là où nous étions Mais oui, là où vous étiez. Et si vous étiez resté en place, vous auriez pu sauver Soult et ses hommes. Mais qu'est-ce que vous êtes venu faire ici Ici, du coup, hein Qu'est-ce qu'on est venu foutre ici Where's he going? Wait till you hear this, sir. It's a courier from Wellington. News. He's forced a passage through 50 miles east. East. I bet. So they were. Just bloody bet. He'd have left his ear to die. Better get back. Tell our side of the story. Come on, sir, let's go on. We're going home! We're going home, lads! <laughs> sir? I found a shortcut home, sir. What are you bloody waiting for, Captain? I want to see my wife. I want to see my wife before. Need your shop?
And so, having made every provision for the comfort of the wounded, I made my way back through the British lines as quickly as possible. And how did Colonel Macaire conduct himself? I cannot speak too highly of the Count's conduct, sir. Despite my pleading with him to return with me, he insisted on staying behind to raise rebellion. And Major Sharp? I'm afraid Major Sharp was away at the time, plundering a French convoy. However, I have been reliably informed by the mayor of Arcon that he was ambushed and overpowered. I can only assume that he's either been killed or surrendered to the French. Well, uh, I suppose we could ask him. How do you mean, sir? Sir, uh, under the provisions of the Army Act, I wish to charge Colonel Bamfeld with cowardice in the face of the enemy, abandoning his position, abandoning the wounded, conspiring with the Comte de Marquer, a spy in the service of Bonaparte, to desert his position and throw the blame on Major Sharp. I further wish to uh, report, sir, that Major Sharp uh, tended the wounded, successfully repulsed an attack by General Calvé's brigade and uh, brought us all safely back home here, sir. Um, Is that all, Captain Palmer? It's almost all, sir. Field Marshal Wellington! Captain Palmer assaulted me! He struck a superior officer! You're no longer a superior officer, Bamfeld. Get out! Sir. Hill Banfield, you're under close arrest pending court martial. You will surrender your sword. My lord. Glass. Sharp. You're looking well, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Sharp. Surgeon Kenny Fix Quinny did the trick then. Oh, don't be a damn fool, Sharp. It was the brandy your wife brought me every day that did the trick. The brandy, my wife. You mean she's still... She's well, Sharp. She's waiting for you. You'll find her with the wounded. Sir. Stop wasting my assistance time, Jane. I'd be obliged for your assistance. I must take a man's foot off, and I want somebody to hold his hand while I'm doing it. <laughs> he went to Wellington. Wellington somehow wormed a little quinine from the Spaniards. Wellington saved my life. He must think a lot of you, Richard. So do I. Jane, the small saw, if you please. Behind the drum, with colours blazing like the sun, along the road to come what may, over the hills and far away, o'er the hills and o'er the main, through.
Flanders, Portugal, and Spain. King George commands and we obey over the hills and far away.